Okay, uh, in this section, I want to show you how we test our trained net. The MNIST dataset provides us the training dataset and testing dataset. They already separated training set, we have 60,000 data sample, and testing set, we have 10 data sample. So let's try to load uh, our testing uh, data sample. Uh, we, use, we just use the same function, uh, read matrix. And the testing data set is MNIST and test 10,000 data CSV. Okay. Then uh, this one also has 785 column data. The very first column is number indications. The rest of them is grayscale information uh, per every pixel of uh, the handwriting scan the images. So we uh, just try to uh, separate your 784 pixel data from your number indications from very first column. So to and and. And then y is our number indications. So that should be uh, your first column. And then uh, before I moving on, uh, let me just show you how we can uh, visualize any of uh, handwriting scan image. It should be uh, very easy. So right now we have uh, 10,000 data points. So let's say I want to look at any random number. So because now X and I contain uh, 10,000 data sample. So from here, let's just uh, extract any number. Uh, let's get the very first one. Okay. So I just want to extract very first row and then assign to T. So T uh, would have 784, 784 data points. Uh, if I just show you, I'll quickly run on here. So uh, if you look up to here, so seven, the T has only the first row from my first number. Then uh, in order to image cell, we have to reshape this data into 28 by 28, right? So I want to reshape everything. So T uh, is equal to uh, reshape my T. And then this one, uh, 20 by and 20 by it. Uh, reshape and then uh, you, we just use figure and then image sc image sc and t transpose it and then our color map should be gray so color map uh, gray okay so if you just uh, run uh, let me just run only a section okay so if i run only section if I run by section only this section, then now uh, I can print out one picture here. Okay, so I told you that this one is twenty by uh, twenty by uh, twenty eight and twenty eight uh, pixel, and I just uh, reshape the T uh, to twenty eight uh, twenty eight, and in order to show the correct uh, direction, you have to transpose it when you call the image as C and color map is gray okay so the very first one uh, was a seven actually number seven and uh, may, let me see the second one what is the second one out of 10,000 data sample then second one was two okay. so this is the way you can quickly kind of visualize uh, the number okay, uh, okay then um, how we test everything uh, let's do that let's test this one our the trained net with uh, 10,000 data sample then uh, we can make a for loop uh, one to size X the this size the result of size will be 10,000 okay And then uh, we have to pull each row from 10,000 rows, right? So our test x uh, is 
from here I want to extract just take one row and then assign to test X but I want to scale down my uh, X so as I did I want to add one and then uh, divide by 256 that's the way we train our net after that uh, you just compute your structure using uh, this code I just copy and paste from my original code so you just multiply test with uh, your trained uh, weights okay you already got this weight and then uh, they a and a2 um, uh, weight and this is y and k head your, your final y okay and then your y uh, just not give you does not give you either one or zero or two something like that. This one has a ten output node. So if your y nk head is one zero 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 zero, that corresponds to zero. If this one is zero one zero 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 zero, that corresponds one something like that. So we need to find uh, what's uh, where we can find the max number. Even though the max number is not one. Maybe the closest correct answer is that we, tr we try to find the locations that has the max uh, greatest value that we consider it 1. So the one way to see the answer is uh, you can just say our classified number of i I want to find <coughs> from my output I want to find uh, what's the index number of max of uh, that output, okay? And minus one because uh, this one just gives you index number. So, uh, for example, let's say, okay, let's say your nk hat is z one zero 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 zero, okay. 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. So let's say this is your output like that. Then what is the max? What is the max of? Or maybe uh, let's say uh, your output looks like 0 0.7, 0, 0, 0, 0.1, and 0.2, something like that. Then right now, because you have most highest value at these locations, I consider this is a 0. Okay, so because your model just estimate most close to the correct answers, so uh, this one has more weight. So I consider this is one, and others are all zeros. So that's why I tried to find the max value first. So what is the max value? That's the 0.7. Then what's the index number of your array that has that max number? So find uh, y and k hat is equal to my max number okay so it's a one right the very first position here but uh, this is the zero number that's correspond to zero that's why i just subtract one here so that's why in finally classified number has only the number your model uh, predict okay and here uh, if uh, classified number i is equal to our desired y then you can <coughs> c o u n counter you can increase your counter number okay and end and in here we can put the counter number zero after that your success rate would be the total counter number divided by the total number of your sample that should be size and i one okay in any case uh, by running this code okay uh, your each row from 10,000 data sample was uh, get into and your model classified your output using your trained weights then if that's the same as our desired one, we count the counter. So we just estimate counter a success rate.
Right now, uh, I just test with uh, our train data. Uh, our train one is uh, we just use hidden layer 100, and then we our apple is uh, 100, but inside the apple we repeat uh, 60,000 uh, times, 60,000 times. Okay. Uh, let me see whether our test uh, shows a good success rate or not. So let me save this one. I want to save this one is uh, test like that and save it and try to run. Oh, uh, just error. Oh, uh, I just put the one more parenthesis here. That's a typo, and then I commented this. Uh, sentences to the drawing the one of the uh, number okay and let me uh, run this one again so this is just keep running it and then uh, let me print out let me just display our success rate so success rate is pretty good uh, 97 almost 98 uh, percent this is pretty good uh, even with uh, even with uh, this 100 hidden layers success rate is pretty good then um, now we've done with kind of testing so our train data actually your weight value is pretty good then uh, why not testing our model using our handwriting so let's try to test your uh, model with your handwriting so how can test our handwriting so for example, in the paper or maybe in the tablet, even tablet, you can try to uh, write down your number from zero to nine like that in the one page again and save it as a JPG file. Uh, I actually tried my handwriting. I, I wrote down on the number on the uh, paper, I scanned them, I saved it as a JPG file. And then I save it as one JPG. Then using the MATLAB program, I uh, load that image. Okay. So this is one example here. Actually, not my handwriting. My I asked my wife to uh, write the number um, nicely, and this is zero, one, two, three, eight, nine. So actually, this is one paper. I scan them. I load into the MATLAB, and then I just uh, pick a left upper point and a lower right point to uh, set one uh, number and then the MATLAB program automatically resize everything to 28 and 20 by 8 pixel and convert that to the number that has a grayscale number and then we just multiply and uh, give that to your trained model and see whether this handwriting number can be recognized well or not so uh, I want to uh, kind of explain how we do those kind of job okay so uh, let's try to open up new editor okay and uh, first i want to load my jpg file jpg file can be loaded onto your matlab using im read uh, my uh, jpg file that i saved is my hand writing jpg so for example here this is my handwriting jpg okay then if I open it, uh, it looks like that. Okay, I scanned it. So in here, uh, after that, I want to uh, change it. I want to con because if you use imread, uh, this one just read as R uh, RGB uh, file. So I want to change RGB to uh, gray. Okay, and then. Because I just write down uh, on the white paper, so my uh, point looks like a black. But actually, their original MNIST file, the background is black and the point is a white. So I have to uh, inverse it. So inverse the color is just uh, negative the minus I A from two hundred fifty five because. Once you convert RGB to gray, your gray information is somewhere between 0 and 255. So if you uh, reverse it, you can get the negative images. Uh, 
And then if you want to figure it out, then image SCIA okay. and color map should be uh, gray. Then uh, let me run this one and see whether we can get that image. Oh, uh, I didn't put the semicolon here. So this is semicolon, 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 semicolon. Okay. So now uh, I just load image onto the MATLAB figure. Okay. Then I want to set, I want to uh, crop only the number that I want to test out. So this is the way you crop using your mouse. Um, for example, if you want to take uh, X and Y and then G input 2, that means if you run this one, this one wait the two click of your mouse. And once you click on, on top of the figure of the MATLAB, uh, you can save the X, Y uh, position of the figure. So for example, let me just run this one. Like that then the mouse is kind of moving right so if you click anywhere upper right upper left corner here click here then click uh, lower right that include the zero here about here click then if you look at the X position Y position then uh, this XY XY shows the point on your figure I pointed using my mouse so that's the way I can kind of figure out where what part I cropped out from your figure uh, actually this is uh, not important uh, in this course but I want to just copy and paste from my previous example so you can copy and paste uh, in this one and then uh, once you f uh, picture it out once you uh, take upper upper left and lower right you can uh, draw your uh, picked uh, images like that so let me just show you again what I'm what I meant here if you run only this portion okay then your picture kind of show you so let me kind of maximize your picture like that and make a little bit more square way then your mouse is kind of moving okay then if you want to choose two, try to uh, pick anywhere upper left of your number that you want to pick. Try to uh, uh, put more uh, enough margin. Okay, so I just put I just put the pick here, and then the second pick is about uh, lower right. So I try to give enough margin. So I just pick about here. I A. I'm sorry about that. I C I D. Okay. So this one should be I A. So let me try again. So this is your figure. So let me choose the two. About I pick here, and then I pick upper uh, lower right. Pick here. Then this is my uh, picked area from this one. Okay. And then um, I told you that I try to pick your uh, this kind of figure try to give enough uh, margin because that's the way MNIST provide they have enough margin uh, besides the around the number so you try to give enough margin when you select a number okay so using uh, this one I can uh, pick those kind of scanned images from my handwriting and then uh, take that information to uh, 700, 784 pixel. So this ID uh, variable has 20, 28 by 20 by 28, the grayscale information of my picked image. So I just make um, transpose it. And then uh, my test X should be uh, flattened those kind of 20 by 20 by I want to flatten to one vector that has 784 uh, column or row I flatten the array and test X should be a 
double uh, right now because it's gray images so this is integer number so I, I want to try to change to double and then uh, likewise we have to scale okay we have to scale them so I'm ready to give this my test x input to the train data so this is exactly the same from my previous one I just give this test x to my uh, trained weight and so on and then um, I just copy and paste uh, this one too so finally I, I know what is my classified number so right now I already um, load my handwriting figure so I don't I didn't I don't need to rerun everything I just run this section only so you can just copy and paste um, and run or if you put the, those two command one if you want to <coughs> run only this section you go to editor and then click the run section okay if you run section uh, you see this figure because we already uh, uh, figure this uh, number on your fi uh, this is MATLAB figure so for example if I want to pick my 5 so I pick uh, upper upper left so click here and then uh, I just click here so this is my picked image 5 then if you go to the MATLAB this one says classify number is 5 so this should actually predict uh, correctly so uh, I want to test one more time so uh, I just run pick uh, I, I exit this one I exit this one and then um, run more because I need to run this one on top of uh, this figure okay so I just uh, run and I see this figure again and then uh, let me try um, four so pick here and then pick here so this is my picked image four and see now your college file number is four now your model predicted well okay so when you run this one uh, actually uh, you have the two figure right now you have this figure you have this figure and uh, this figure uh, before you run this code you have to acti activate uh, this figure okay because uh, when you run this one uh, this code wait your input from your mouse but it doesn't know which a uh, figure should be activated so before you run you have to activate this one we can click any picture here or maybe you can delete this one click this one and then go uh, to your MATLAB and run this section one more time then this figure is activated then now you choose whatever the number you want to uh, test out so let's say 9 so I want to pick here I want to pick about here so this is my picked image then your classify number is th oh this is wrong okay so now this one just predict uh, this number as a 3 then let me just choose 3 then let me choose uh, 3 then pick and this is pick so this is my pick number so this one classified uh, 3 okay so I told you that uh, this is not 100% accuracy however uh, please remember uh, when we train when you train this one we just use one single uh, hidden layer and your layer uh, was uh, the node is only 100 I trained my train net using uh, 1000 node on the hidden node so let me load let me reload the weights that I trained using 1000 node of hidden okay I saved it in my uh, MATLAB uh, this one the weights 1000 so uh, let me just load the weight 1000 uh, before uh, before I do that, uh, let me save the currents. 
current uh, weight okay before I lose it I just save the current uh, weights and then uh, let me load uh, this the weight value that I trained when I set my hidden layer node is 1000 okay now uh, if you look up here so your weight has 784 and 1000 right because I trained uh, earlier this uh, morning then using this weight I want to tr uh, test this one again okay because uh, earlier the 9 was not predicted well so let me try to run this one uh, not this figure using uh, this one okay so I run and at this time I want to choose um, the 9 again okay pick and pick so this is my uh, picked number so let me see now this one classify this one as 9 correctly so you know that depending on the number of hidden layers and maybe if you want to advance uh, your kind of uh, networks you can uh, add one more hidden layer um, I wish to uh, include that lectures as well but um, we're short of time for this semester so I will just leave it to you uh, but in the lecture note I included how we add another hidden layers so I hope you can refer to it if you need them later um, so uh, this is pretty good um, model we can use this one to any kind of application so not only handwriting uh, if you want to predict something based on your previous data set that you can uh, design and structuralize your uh, networks and try to train using this uh, simple code and try to see okay attendant quiz you try to uh, estimate the success rate with using different number of hidden uh, node okay so I will describe it more detail in your attendance quiz